win here at home tonight, which takes Arsenal back to the top of the table. You must be delighted. Yeah, of course. Uh, we knew what we had to do, and that's uh, get the win at home. And uh, I think we played well today. We've got uh, a lot of chances, I think. But uh, yeah, in general, overall was good, I think. And then it's, yeah, we're pleased that, uh, that we got the three points. What was the mindset coming into this game? Because these ties can be really tricky when you're up against a side fighting for survival. Same as last week's. Uh, we know they're, they're a tough opponent to play against. They've showed it uh, throughout the season. And uh, yeah, we, we just came in with the same mindset. Uh, win our duels, try to yeah, uh, hurt them in behind. I think we have done that today. And that's how we scored some goals. And uh, yeah, we're really pleased with it. The manager made five changes coming into this game tonight. And at times, did it feel like you just needed to get into a bit of a new rhythm with all those changes in the team? Yeah, it's always a bit different, obviously, when uh, when you play with the same 11 week in, week in, uh, week, in with, uh, week out. And uh, But I think uh, we have done well. Uh, we Everyone showed that uh, yeah, that they can play and uh, make it hard for the manager. And uh, I think he's happy with uh, with the performance of all of the players, so it uh, uh, couldn't, couldn't get better. This unbelievable start for Arsenal to the year in the league continues. You're still unbeaten, heading into what's a really busy month in April. Where are the confidence levels at right now amongst this group? Yeah, really high. Uh, hopefully we can maintain this and uh, we, we have to take uh, game by game because it's, we're playing every three, uh, three days, obviously. But uh, that's a nice win today and now we can look forward to the weekend. Top of the league. You've got a big game at the weekend facing your former side, Brighton, as well. Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, it will be a tough game as well, but uh, for everyone, uh, now it's just recovery and uh, Everyone needs to get ready for the game. Yeah, that must be tough as well, because that game at the weekend against Manchester City, it must have taken so much out of you guys, mentally and physically. The games are coming so thick and fast. Is there a big feeling in this squad, though, that everyone is pulling together? Yeah, of course. It's like I said, today there were five changes and everyone did their job. And uh, that's what we need in, uh, in the team, competition. And uh, yeah, it's really, really good at the moment. So uh, we need to maintain that and uh, keep going. Well done tonight. Thank you. And man of the match, Emil Smith Rowe, is alongside us now. Emil, how much did you enjoy yourself out there this evening? Because it really looked like that. Yeah, man, I really enjoyed myself tonight. You know, it's been a long time since I've started. So, yeah, man, it's been a tough, tough season for me. But, um, yeah, I'm delighted with the, with the start tonight and yeah, definitely the three points as well. Just tell us what, what was key to that performance, because that's the most minutes that, that we've seen you play for a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah, I was getting cramped actually after, <laughs> after 50 minutes, but... Um, yeah, man, like I said, it's been a tough season. You know, I haven't played as much as I would have liked. Um, and, you know, obviously we changed the team um, a little bit today. So it was good for, you know, not just me, but some of the other boys haven't played um, so much this season. Um, but, yeah, like I said, we're obviously happy with the three points. Maybe the performance wasn't amazing, but, yeah, in the end, we got the three points. You've, you've missed 10 games with the injury as well, but, but 12 as an un unused sub. What, what have you been doing behind the scenes to really show the manager that you, you were ready for that opportunity? I think just training really hard, you know. Um, you know, when you don't play, you have to train every day and stuff, so it gets it gets really hard. And you know, I think that's really important. Um, you know, men your mentality as well has got to be really good. So, yeah, like I said, man, it's been tough, and I'm just happy that I got a start today. Did, did you feel that you got more and more confident as the way, the game went on? Because it must have been really difficult for you mentally. You were in the England squad, you've come out and you're trying, but you can play a major part now for the rest of the season. And tonight you did that. You're involved in both goals. You've got one assist. Does that really lift your confidence tonight? Yeah, for sure. You know, obviously it's been a while since I started. I think maybe my last game was not in the forest away. So, um, yeah, it was really important that I, you know, I had to just keep my keep a calm head um, and, you know, try to, try to keep doing the good things. And, yeah, I'm happy with my performance overall. I, I just want to say, I think it's, you know, when the team keeps winning, and, yeah. you, and you can't get back in. I think it's really difficult for the guys. But I think it's all important when you come in, you do yeah. what you did tonight and then you take that forward to the next game. Yeah, for sure. And I think it just shows, you know, um, how strong our team is. You know, players can come in and, you know, put in performances, which is good. You know, we're in a title race. Um, you know, so it's obviously it's hard to get minutes and just got to keep working hard in training. And yeah, I'm really happy, happy for today. Emil, well played tonight. I thought you were brilliant. You say you haven't played as much as you'd like so far. How important was it today that you showed what you were really about? Yeah, really important, you know, especially being home here with all the Arsenal fans really helped me. Um, you know, it's, it's better to play at home when you haven't played in a long time, you know, and you get that support behind you. But, you know, I've, I've been getting so much support from, you know, not just the players, but the staff as well. You know, it feels like it's just a family in there, you know, and when you're not playing, everyone's around you, everyone's helping. So, yeah, man, I feel really at home here and, yeah, I'm just happy with 
of the start today. The atmosphere here at the Emirates this season has been brilliant. That home form obviously really helps with that. What, what did it mean to you to come off to a standing ovation? <laughs> yeah, amazing. You know, like I said, you know, I've been here since nine years old. So, you know, to, to have that, you know, as I'm coming off, you know, obviously second off, I don't think I played great, but, you know, um, I was really tired in the end anyway. But, yeah, man, it's really good to have the support from the fans. You know, I feel it every time, even when I'm warming up sometimes and I don't come on, you know, I always feel the support. So, yeah, man, it was amazing tonight for me. Well, we're going to let you go and celebrate that win. Before that, Tom, ha has something to give you <laughs> there? Because... Oh, I'd love surprising. to keep it, Thank but it's you. yours. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Player of the match there, Neil smith Rowe. Well thank, yeah. thank you very much. You listen to that. <laughs> what a reception. Thank you for coming out to chat to us. Martin, you can hear from, from that response, the fans who stayed around here. He, he is such a, a favourite amongst the fans and he just reminded everybody of, of just how good he is tonight, do you feel? Yes, and he's had lots of issues, lots of problems. And when the manager first came in, Arteta came in and him and Saka were the sort of the two standouts. I remember a game here against Chelsea really early on, which Arsenal needed to win and he was magnificent. And then he's sort of fallen away from it a little bit. So it's been difficult when you're watching that in the background, I think from a confidence point of view, mentally, I think it's, he showed a lot of resolve and he's come back tonight and he's demonstrated that if he's called upon now, he can come in and do a really good job for Arsenal. He was involved in both the goals. Tom, let's look at the first one first. It, it came from him doing really well, but also Luton giving the ball away quite cheaply. Yeah, and it's not exactly what you, you expect when you, you see Emil Smith-Rowe play, you know. He's known for his creativity and that, but the way he jumps on him, pans with air and forces him into the mistake just really gets Arsenal on the front foot and it's, it's what they needed the longer it stayed nil-nil the, the crowd get a little bit edgy Luton are in town they're expected to win so to be able to get that early goal there is um, yeah was really set them on their way and Partey the, the, the midfield slightly different structure Smith Rowe but playing on the left hand side Erd got on the right so it's really important that he has a 10 he comes in and wins that ball and then he's creative from there and then the, the boys did the rest I think Havertz again let's not underestimate that ball the care in it mm. it's, it's on the deck and, in, and then Odegaard can come in and just it, slot it's it it's Havertz 12th goal involvement this season just, just how much is he thriving under Mikel Arteta well, given the so. question marks around him do you know it was one of those where he came in and I, and I looked at it a lot of criticism and I thought I'm just going to hold up my opinion I wasn't sure at the beginning the, the community shield he played as a centre forward and I didn't see the work rate I didn't see the running into the channels uh, and then they, and Ketier came in for the next game I saw that that change they moved him into midfield but very definitely now he's in his proper position as a front player you he, think that's where he's best very definitely he, he's so intelligent he goes through I mean as you're a centre there's two centre halves sitting here you want someone to mark but when he keeps disappearing into midfield all the time, it's, you get a little bit nervous. And then suddenly you, he's there, but he's there with two or three other players. So then he can be really effective. And that's really working for Arsenal Do you right think now. it almost has gone against him, the fact he is so versatile? Because it's quite unusual that, that we can see a player that can quite capably and brilliantly play in so many different positions. Yeah, a little bit. But I agree with Martin there. I, I think he's really at home now. I, the amount of times he done double movement today where he, where he went short off Mengi and then spun in behind and he would have got the ball if it was played but it wasn't played to him. Might not get picked up on the cameras but they're the sort of movements that, that even if he doesn't get it, he might get the next one or then he'll keep going and get the next one and eventually something will happen to him. When someone works as hard as that, making these selfless runs, then, you know, something will fall in, fall in the end. He's looking at... Come back as it stands, Arsenal top of the Premier League, leading Luton by two goals to nil at half-time. They had to wait till halfway through that first half. But what a lovely finish from Martin Erdegaard it was when it yeah, came. Yeah, it was. Um, me and Sherry were talking about it. We thought Luton were doing OK, keeping themselves in the game. But then playing like this, you know, Emin Smith-Rowe um, spots it very quickly. And it's what Arsenal, I think that's what they should have been doing anyway, putting them under pressure. And then, bam, it's... It's, 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 a really, it's a really good finish, but this one, Shay, Sh we yeah. were a little bit surprised. I'm, I'm disappointed at Luton, Steve, here, you know, because they're away from home, obviously playing against the could-be champions, and they're so open, give a terrible ball in, in, into the halfway, and, and it's, you know, Smith Roder's brilliant in the game, but Odegaard, you know, he's had a great first half, and it's, it's a fantastic finish, right? It's a beautiful it? finish, yeah. It's coming across him as well. He's cut across it. Um, the way he's cut across, it's really good great strike. finish. When you look at it from here, yeah. I was thinking, was he going for the other side? No, but it's caught it at the bottom of his foot, and it's just moving away from the goalie. The main thing is, is that they needed to just get that goal just to settle everything down. Yeah. Just a word on the strikers' union there, on that finish. Uh, How hard is it to do when you're striking well, across When it's coming like across, that? yeah, yeah. You have to really get the timing right because it's coming at a pace as well, so you have to get it right. Get your foot right next to it so as you can get a clean contact. Look at that, look. Perfect. See now. And so he's...
just slicing across it almost. He actually, he actually looks like he meant that, Steve. Mm. And, and this makes it more difficult for the goalkeeper as well because he can't read where it's going. And no. He's come right across the ball. And then by doing that, the ball's always leaving the goalkeeper yeah, as well. It's moving away. Brilliant finish. Beautiful strike. Mm. And then just a couple of minutes before half time, that all important second, second it settled yeah. you down anyway. So. <laughs> yes, it did. And, and, and again, like Emma Smith Rowe, I think, has done very, very well in the game. He, he was the one who won the ball back for the first goal, and he's the one who's making the run here. You know, no one's picked him up, and, um, you know, he's, he's, he's done well, just very calm. And I think it's an own goal there from Ashoka. Yeah, it's gone down Hashioka own yeah, goal. Hashioka yeah, Hashioka own goal. But it's good movement off the ball from Emil Smith Rowe. I'm pleased for him. Um, you know, yes, um, Reese Nelson, you're thinking maybe it was his goal. I think he's just missed it. But I think that Emil's come in and he's done something. He's progressing with the ball. He's running with the ball. He's making things happen. He's making a difference. Whereas I think that on a couple of occasions, I think Reese has played a little bit safe. You'd like to see him get past Doughty, go past him, um, stretch him a bit like Martinelli would do. We need somebody going that way as well. And I think that some of the times he's playing a lot of safe balls inside. OK, so Arsenal tune up, righty smiling. So too is Shea Given, because just this moment at the Etihad, Ooh. Manchester City have taken the lead oh, against Aston Villa. And it's that man, Rodri, with another important strike. Well, I mean, I said before, the game City are a bit down on themselves, but that's a br well, brilliant goal, Rodri, raving from midfield, Steve. We've seen that many, many a times as well, of course, and it's a, it's a very, very important goal. Well, that's his eighth goal this season. That's his best ever goal-scoring season um, for Rodri. And amongst all the rotation from Pep Guardiola tonight, De Bruyne, remember, on the bench, Haaland on the bench, he was not one. Considered again, of course, uh, mm. to be rested by Pep Guardiola. Now, no goals in the other game at Brentford and Brighton. Tom Lockyer and Martin Keown alongside me. Let's look at that first goal. First of all, then Tom, and it came from Emil Smith-Rowe winning that ball back in the middle of the park. Yeah, it's all about the press here. Look, he decides to jump, smothers in Panzu, lays it off to Odegaard, and then they're just at you. You know, then it's, then it's all hands to the pump there, trying to, you know, stop that goal. But once they spring like that, win, win it back, and, and, and jump on you with pace, then as soon as it falls to Odegaard here. I know he cuts across it, but he's fully meant that to go bottom corner. He, he has, I mean, it's a quality finish, but, you know, Luton are trying to pass the ball out. And, and it wasn't something you saw at the start of the season. It's commendable, but I don't think they've quite got the quality and in Panzu in that position. They lose it cheaply. Smith Rowe does really well there. And Havertz is an excellent ball. It's on the carpet. It's just saying, put me in the back of the net. And Erdegaard does the rest with his quality. And for a while after they conceded, Luton improved in that first half, Tom, didn't you, Dane? You thought that if they could just get to half time at, at 1 0, it would be quite positive. Yeah, the second goal is a killer. The, the response was good, like you said. I think Townsend look, looked a threat up the right hand side, looking like he could make something happen. And Carter Morris is up for the fight there, but. With the, the amount of possession Arsenal have, you find yourself so deep and then struggling to get up the pitch. And Smith Rowe involved again. Yeah, big night for him. Uh, another assist there. Um, Hashioka, though, makes you know a real mess of this. I thought he could have done a little bit better, but he arrives late. You were going to say made a hash of it, weren't yes, you? Yes, I didn't want to say that. You're quite right. <laughs> and, and he just tucks it away. So, um, and in fact, he actually misses the ball. But all credit to Smith Rowe. He's been out for a good while now. Look, he missed the ball. It comes off the defender and uh, more of what we expected. It was, Arsenal didn't have a lot of rhythm early on, but 2-0 up now, they're looking quite comfortable. You know Rob Edwards so well, of course, Tom. What, what do you think his message will be after that first half? He'll be really disappointed with the uh, second goal there. At 1-0, you're always in the game. No matter, what, no matter how little of the ball, how little opportunities you have, you can always nick a goal at some point, set piece, something like that. The second goal really is a killer, especially at that time. You'd be saying on the pitch, just see it out, but... Now it's just about, right, it's happened, it's, let's galvanise the boys. How are we going to try and get back into this game? Yeah, Arsenal have won again. I, I, I'm happy about this. I'm very, very happy. Uh, at least, you know, drawing that match the other day with Mass City and uh, coming back again to win this match with Luton, it means a lot to us. Uh, this is the time to pick all the points and take all the goals together so that uh, let's see how it's going to be at the end of the season. You know, so uh, tell us, what do you think? Do you think that uh, the match was uh, uh, was fair, 2 new, You know, or we should have scored more? So let us know in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel. Help us to share our videos. We are here. We are just a small channel. We are trying to grow. So support us to grow. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.